Hey everybody, welcome back to MPQ Mastery, where we teach you how to destroy more gems. Today is kind of a think piece, kind of an interesting thing that I wanted to do here. I just got done watching the second season of Iron Fist, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I noticed that not everybody was really talking about it or anything. They put a couple of little alerts in the MPQ app, but they haven't really made that big of a deal about it like they did with the first season of Iron Fist, where we got the Danny Rand version of Iron Fist. But while I was watching the show, I was having these amazing ideas as to how I would make Davos into a character in the game. And if anybody is listening out there, these are some of my really cool ideas. So first off, if you don't know who Davos is, he is a major Iron Fist villain. He's kind of a cult leader, but also he was the one who originally wanted to have the Iron Fist, but he was beat out by Danny Rand. And instead, he gained the abilities of the Steel Serpent, which were stolen abilities. He makes his fist glow red instead of yellow. It's really, really cool. I really, really dig him as a character. My favorite thing about him is that he is an anti-hero. He is doing what he believes is the right thing, but he is doing it in such the villainous way. So I came up with this kind of interesting combination of abilities, and I would love your thoughts on it, especially if you work for D3GO and you're interested in making something like, you know, hit me up, I'm, I'm here. So just to preface, uh, instead of coming up with exact numbers, because obviously it would need to go through testing and whatnot, uh, all I did was put in low, medium, high, just to kind of give you some ideas as to what I would expect Davos to be able to do in the game. Now, I gave him three abilities. One is called the Righteous Man, one is called the Steel Serpent Fist, and the other one is Blood for Blood. So the first one is the Righteous Man. Davos is the hero of his own story and cannot stand villains, even those who are loyal. So with this ability, he would deal low damage to a hero or high damage to a villain and create one strike tile per villain in the fight. Passively, any time a villain character is defeated, he would also heal. Now I'm going to go through the other two and you'll see how they start to kind of stack up and work off of each other. The Steel Serpent Fist, Davos's red glowing fist, slams the ground sending a shockwave that deals high damage to all villains in the fight and low damage to all heroes in the fight. Passively, any time a villain character is defeated, Davos fortifies one friendly tile. Now you'll notice that that directly goes along with the righteous man that creates the tiles, Steel Serpent Fist, fortifies the tiles, and it kind of is a nice back and forth. Then Blood for Blood, which is a totally passive ability. Davos believes in blood for blood, an eye for an eye. When Davos takes damage, he counter-strikes for medium damage. And that's regardless of whether it's a villain or a hero. He won't take any crap if you hit him. He will definitely hit you back. But if the attacker was a villain, Davos steals himself to their wrath, placing a protectile on the board. Thus also feeding into the Steel Serpent Fist. So basically the Steel Serpent Fist is the thing that you're saving up for. That'll probably be the most expensive ability. So you're going to keep getting hit. And if it's villains, you're going to keep putting tiles on the board. You're going to keep using the Righteous Man. And the Righteous Man will obviously keep putting a strike tiles on the board. So strike and protect tiles. And then the Steel Serpent Fist, bam, it's going to damage a bunch of people, hopefully kill them, and fortify those friendly tiles. So these were just a kind of a few ideas that I had. I would love to hear your thoughts on how we can bring Davos into the, this... I would love your thoughts on how you think we could bring Davos into this system. I feel like there's so much going for this character. Uh, I love the idea of him being an anti-hero, uh, where he really is trying to do the best thing for the world. He does not see himself as a villain, which, which is what makes him a compelling character. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Otherwise, thank you for coming to MPQ Mastery, where we teach you to destroy more gems. Thanks for watching that video. I want you to let me know what the next character profile we should do is. I have a couple lined up, Three Star, Star Lord, and so many more that I'd love to do. But let me know down in the comments what you want to see.